Okay, next, moving on. I think this might be one of our last bugs. This is a big image, I gotta zoom out a lot. Oh, what kind of bug do you guys think this is? Can you guess based off of its appearance? Any guesses? A mantis, grasshopper. That's a really good guess. Very, very good guess. This is actually a green mantis fly, also known as Zugomantispa. Yeah, this is, it, it, it looks like a mantis, but it flies. Yeah, it's a flying mantis. Uh, in a natural mashup, the green mantis flies have the head and front arms of a praying mantis, but the abdomen and wings of a lace wing. Adult green mantis flies eat insects and use their front pair of legs to capture a meal. Like a praying mantis, their pair of legs bends in a way that resembles praying hands. Uh, the insect is not quite as fluid and agile in flight, however. Though typically green, some species of mantis fly are brown, yellow, or orange. Oh, they're pretty. I like them. I actually like how this bug looks. Let's learn about the larva of mantis flies. The small larva of mantis flies are parasitic predators. Oh, <laughs> they're brutal. Okay, just like the wasp. Predators, uh, sneaking a ride on an adult spider immediately after hatching. If it's a male spider, the larva waits until it can move over to a female during mating. Once the female begins laying fertilized eggs in a silken egg sac, the mantis fly larva make its move, hiding among, 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 among us, among the freshly laid eggs. It gets sealed inside the egg sac where it will feast on the spider eggs until it is ready to pupate. It emerges as a wing adult. Holy shit. <laughs> That's brutal. We were just talking about baby spiders. Yeah, well, I guess these guys, if you don't like spiders, maybe you like these guys because they kill baby spiders. That's pretty messed up. And look how small. Look at it. Hold on, I gotta zoom in. Ah, run knob. Ah. Alright. Hold on, I gotta fix the... Ah, they're cute! I like them. They're very cute. Yeah, mantis flies. I've never heard of this bug before, but they're really interesting. Looking. Hey, look at his little... Uh, the big eyelashes! They have big eyelashes. They're so cute. So cute. Yeah, they're they are tiny. They're really tiny. Not my hand, by the way. Ah, okay, so moving on. This guy is pretty interesting. And a little bit of a stinker. Now, can you guys guess what type of bug this is? An antelion, a beetle, a dung beetle, a crab. Not a crab, a tick. That's a good guess. And Buddha. <laughs> Yeah, he might <laughs> can put a bug. Ugh. Gross. Okay, now this is actually called usually the masked hunter. That's a really cool name, actually. Masked hunter. Sounds so mysterious. Also known as the Reduvius. Personatus. Uh, the masked hunter may be a predator to small insects. But that doesn't stop it from inflicting care, uh, painful bites on careless handlers. Uh, so the masked hunter, hunter, the masked hunter is actually a type of assassin bug. This family of insects is known for its ability to inflict painful bites on people thanks to very strong fang-like beak. This beak is normally used to rapidly stab an insect to death. But it also is a weapon of self-defense if it feels threatened. Nymphs or juveniles are small and are covered in sticky hairs. Dust, lint, and dirt sticks to the body and legs of the nymph, making it look more like an alien rather than an insect. That's right. So it is crusted in dust, lint, and dirt just because it's very, very sticky. It's just a really sticky bug. You know, probably for camouflage. <laughs> but I like how where I read it doesn't explain why. It's just, yep, they're just sticky. That's just how they are. Yeah, they're very sticky. 
I'm not sticky. No. I think I have another picture of these guys. Uh, just for scale, as you can see, um, this is somebody's hand. I don't know whose hand. But, uh, yeah, they're very crusty. This is like, um, you guys ever get like a, like a cookies and cream, like a dessert or something, and it's got crumbled Oreos on it? That's what it looks like. It's been crumbled in Oreo dust. <laughs> the cookies and cream version. Uh, so yeah, it's got a beak, apparently, that stabs insects to death with, and it can bite you. But people like to collect these, obviously, because it's pretty interesting, the fact that they're so sticky. <laughs> uh, the masked hunter, adult, primarily eats bed bugs and is active at night. So these guys are actually, well, if you don't try to touch them, they're pretty beneficial because fuck bed bugs. Fuck them. Right? You just release one of these guys and, uh, easy. Get rid of them. Actually, that's not how it works. Don't do that. <laughs> um, sightings of a masked hunters indoors are usually a result of a bed bug presence inside the home. To eliminate the masked hunter, its food source, bed bugs, must be removed. This process obviously requires a professional. In nature, masked hunters also eat roly polies and earwigs in the absence of their preferred food. They love to eat bed bugs. They love bed bugs. And uh, roly polies. I actually like roly polies. Um, I'm planning on getting some soon. Um, it's called. Uh, I think I don't think I have a picture saved of it. But let me see. I can get one. This is a uh, similar to. Well, actually, I believe roly polies are also um, isopods. I've shown this before on stream, but let's see. Chrome froze. There it goes. All right. I'm gonna show you guys. This isn't one that I saved, but I like this bug and I've shown it before on stream. Okay. Name a roly poly Ollie. Oh, cute. I don't know if these um, isopods, particular isopods, roll up, but um, here, let me see if I can put it on the screen. Uh, this guy. Here we go. Yeah, so these are called rubber ducky isopods, and uh, they're actually pretty expensive. It's like $25 for one bug. And uh, they're also not very big. Um, they're known to be pretty small. Let's see. And here's a bigger picture of a uh, rubber ducky isopod. And they're very cute. Uh, so these, these types of bugs are very beneficial because like I was talking about earlier, they help with decomposition. And I like to build terrariums. So, if you guys know anything about terrariums, they're usually an enclosed ecosystem. Which means that um, you got the water cycle going on in the enclosed jar. And you also have plants going through their natural life cycle, which does include dying and decomposition. But if you don't have anything in your terrarium to take care of this decomposition, what happens is that a bunch of mold will grow. You don't want this. But, thankfully, these bugs like to feed on mold and dead leaves. And um, yeah, they're very beneficial. Even some people who have uh, pet frogs or pet lizards or pet snakes, they'll oftentimes um, have a bioactive setup. What that means is uh, bioactive. So there's plants that help take care of waste and there's also bugs that help take care of waste. The plant waste and the animal waste. Um, so yeah, it's pretty beneficial to have like uh, these types of bugs in your uh, terrariums, vivariums, aquariums. No, not aquariums. They can't swim, probably. <laughs> but yeah, I guess they're kind of like shrimp in a way. Shrimp are also pretty similar. Um, they eat decomposing things. Crabs, even more than shrimp, um, love to eat decomposing things. I think they're more desperate than shrimp, for sure. All right, uh, I think that's everything. I think that's all the bugs. Let me see. Yeah, that's all the bugs. Get the Minecraft bee. Uh, the Minecraft bee is also known as Renevius uh, traumatis. And in Minecraft, um, this bee is usually found in warmer climates. You can find them usually underneath a an oak tree where you can find their hive, which is usually inhabited by three to four bees. Uh. 